Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another King of Fighters All Star video. And I believe this is going to be an important video because we are going to check and analyze the performance of the first ultimate character who is said to be buffed. We'll check the damage, we'll check the new character damage, and at the same time, we will also analyze and probably come to an understanding that. In this game, in King of Fighters All-Star, the concept of power creep is probably dead. Yes, a complaint that all the players had for a long long time, all the content creators, each and every one we talked about the power creep problem of this game that previous characters are getting quickly quickly outdated, new characters are taking over. Of course, this is a very normal concept in gacha game. But during the BS or SS era, this thing in Kofas was like a trend. It was too much, to be honest, I also admit that. But now, King of Fighters Oster team, without acknowledging this problem, they kind of brought a solution to this problem. They ki never kind of talked about that. Uh, they are going to solve this power creep problem. Yes, they uh, talked about things like they are going to make the game a little bit balanced, this sort of stuff in a shadowy way. But they never talked about that. They are going to solve this problem. But to be honest, in recent characters' performance, compared with the old characters' performance, when it is about plug-in plant farming and everything, if we consider everything, then I must say that the concept of power creep is totally dead and i'm going to prove this thing today with of course a gameplay but before the gameplay i'm going to talk about the updates of ash crimson what is the update actually what they have actually done now let me first take you to this browser where i'm going to show you the uh, forum notice that they have published about ash crimson that these are the updates so these are the updates hp we can see active skill active skill 2 3 and they have marked these uh, uh, you know numbers in a red of course we can see this skill damage 2 3 6 4 percent but how much it is the upgrade what is the percentage that we got more upgradation that's a good thing to uh, think about because in previous uh, forum posts they used to publish this thing in a in a way that they displayed these previous uh, percentages and the recent percentages so we can see the upgradation but in this forum post from this forum post kind of it is hard to understand so now let me take you to my sheet where actually I previously did an analysis on Ash Crimson when he appeared for the first time and I kind of wrote his actual damage percentages that what is the percentage is going on for example in skill 1 we we had damage percentage 1970 phantom damage 630 fear 3.5 second burn damage 5000% now what is the update update says skill damage 2340 percent phantom damage 947 so these are the two things that has been increased so you can see clearly the percentage that has been increased let's check out the other skills of course i'm going to show this in the video screen then you can see that active skill 2 percentage increase active skill 3 increase so basically all of his skills has been buffed core effect increase critical damage 400 percent wait a minute wait a minute isn't it the highest percentage it was 350 percent previously i guess oh my god oh my god this is insane guys this is insane also all of this skill upgradation amazing stuff guys amazing stuff what should i say now i'm going to show you a gameplay with a level 90 maxed up ash 
and of course i don't have maxed up ash in my account so this gameplay was provided to us by one of my guild mate which is known as incredible in his game his in-game name is incredible and his original name is orhan so thank you so much orhan for allowing us to enjoy this big performance of a level 90 ash and he kind of uh, farmed really well in the plugin plant so we will be seeing some damage numbers which is uh, something that represents the true potentiality of this character so let me show you the gameplay that orhan sent to us and I totally hope that this is going to be a beauty to watch. Let's watch this, guys. Amazing Ash. Alright, first of all, do the CPG usually. This is a beautiful CPG, guys. One of the most beautiful CPG that Kofas has ever produced. I mean, insane. Alright. Let's see, let's see how the damage number is going on. This is going to be totally interesting. Alright, alright. This is the first rotation guys. It is broken. Ultimate. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Skill number 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. If we take this, these are, these are the rotation guys. After using the phantom uh, ultimate. The phantom ultimate. So how much damage did you get? How much? Let's see. 34 trillion. 34 trillion? I'll be honest with you. 34 trillion is not really too much. Because uh, I'm not really a good player. But I still can get 34 trillion in my first position. Uh, I mean, yeah, with Terry, I can, I can get even, I think, 39 trillion. So this is not really a uh, something impressive number but let's see what proceeds further what happens next because there is a lot of lot of things related to cumulative damage the second rotation wait a minute wait a minute guys look at the numbers oh my god it went up to 100 trillion oh my god now, from from the second rotation Ash is showing his true colors guys. Ash is, has started to show his true colors from 30 trillion to 104 trillion on the second rotation. 70 solid trillion in one rotation. This is unbelievable damage guys. Unbelievable damage. Oh my goodness. And I was so naive to underestimate the first rotation. Oh my god. This is the second rotation guys. Look at this. We start from 100 trillion. Let's see how far we can go. 40, 50, 60, 67, almost 70, almost 60, I think uh, 64 trillion. So couple of trillion less than the previous rotation. Of course, you know that a lot of lot of these damages actually will depend on uh, critical damage and critical rate and these two things are something that has a high percentage of hit or miss it, whenever it hits it hits in a big way and whenever it misses it kind of misses a big deal so that's the thing about critical rate and critical damage and i'm going to talk about his imprint stones and battle cards of course because uh, there are certain combination of battle cards and uh, infinity stones certain things that you have to use for this damage uh, recipe look at these guys look at this these damage doesn't come out of the thin air guys look at this it's all about strategy all about perfect mechanism and what a beautiful gameplay by incredible or orhan oh my god he is so smooth with his fingers as you can see he can just he basically does no mistake no freaking mystic and he's incredibly fast amazing and i think he's also using a very high-end device that has basically absolutely zero lagging so it's really good to see that a9f is performing at his peak so really good to see guys now let's see the upcoming rotation that how far it can go Does he doing her thing 
And this is these damage numbers as I said that it doesn't really come out of thin air. It is all about strategy, strategy, strategy and a lot of lot of practice guys. Kill one two one two one two again and again again. Look at this guys. We are going I think more than 300 trillion. This is totally incredible, totally speaking on behalf of the name of the player himself. That is totally incredible and he is showing some incredible performance with this incredible app. Oh my goodness guys. This is so so good to see that all these old characters, these characters, he, this character came on Ultimate Volume 1 quite a long time ago and now they have received the buff. Now they are even more deadly, even more deadlier than his previous version. And I can say that this, uh, uh, this, this, this character, this guy was previously doing this uh, about 200 trillion in, in, in Lunatic on in Inferno mode. Uh, I think uh, in reality he was doing more than 200 trillion. I think even yesterday he did, did more than 200 trillion. However, this is a, 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 a lunatic run, not really an inferno run. But still, look at the damage numbers. I mean, the potentiality is really too high. Look at this. We are around 367 trillion, and there are still 20 minutes to go. Oh my god, this is so insane. This is so, such an insane thing. Now let's see where the final thing goes, where the final thing reaches. What is the final number that you can receive? Such a beautiful gameplay, such a beautiful thing to watch guys. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Here we go, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh my god, this is more than 400 trillion, guys. More than 400 trillion. And by the way, I must also say that even though he has been buffed, his buff only is not enough to give you this sort of damage. You need to do a lot, you need to work hard in the plugin plan. And of course, he has also farmed uh, the exact amount of plugins that you need for these damages. And there are certain things. Uh, related to his, for example, I think last skill is very important. Skill number one, skill number two, both of them are important and damage dealing skill, guys. Also, things like phantom attack, attack, critical rate, critical damage. There's a lot of things to play. All right, guys. So final rotation is not going to work probably too much. We, we cannot, we will not be able to complete the rotation. But let's see. Four hundred. 57 trillion 457 trillion is the final score that was able to he was able to achieve so congratulations or hand for passing through the 400 trillion landmark which is a real honor for any true fighter but let's just say if you have his banner in pin stones of course you are having them but if you don't have they are actually selling this thing in this ultimate fighter shop they are selling all this in Pinstone with 23 euro, which is really cheap guys, really cheap. But the biggest problem is, you will not be able to get the star and moon in Pinstone. That means you will not get that much high numbers, but still, with the mechanism that we saw in Ash, with the ability that we saw in Ash, I think he is totally, totally worth to pull. So let's talk about the battle cards a little bit, and I'm going to use Psyche as an example, because he is also from the volume 1. And this is going to be the set card for Ultimate Volume 1 Ash. This is the banner set card, ideal for him. And for option card, there are some interesting things that I would like to show. There are certain cards, for example, these cards. This is the card that is going to do dam defense, extra defense to damage type by 8%. And there is some other card that I'm going to also show you. This type of cards, this is going to increase the attack SPD. I'm going to dedicate a separate video on to these cards and how you can use them. But basically this is going to be that damage uh, mechanism for Ash in terms of battle cards. And even if you are pulling in this banner, I think he is a nice upgradation to your entire team. So let me know what you think about the new upgradation of Ash and the new scores. And let me know what you are doing with Ash. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to support the content, support the channel. 
I hope to see you guys soon in some other videos. Till then, stay awesome and peace out, my friends.